This has become probably one of the most fashionable stunt dishes in London restaurants. I think it's probably taken over from the roast suckling pig. One of this size will probably serve between four and six people. The turbot cage, if you can find one or have one made, is a large mesh arrangement that closes around the turbot and enables you to lift it up as a whole and turn it over over the coals to cook. We don't have a turbot cage. So what we can do with this is take one off the main barbecue and another one on top. We'll push them together and then we'll wire them together with some wire from a hardware store. It's probably not a bad idea to very slightly lubricate the metal. I'm gonna put the second grill over the top of it and then we're gonna start wiring. So there we go. I've pushed the two sides together, not too tight, but the fish is, I mean, it's not really squeezed, but he's gonna stay put. This is some birch wood. So we'll let those burn for a little bit and then we'll use that as our heat source. What I've done is just bought a couple of one inch angle irons from a hardware store. And if I just put them like that, we're gonna be able to support the fish. So our wood's burned down to charcoal. And here goes. Ah, hello, little fish. We're gonna keep flipping to keep our eyes on what's going on. The really important thing about flipping is it works the same way as cooking food on a spit. What we wanna do is get the fat running on the underside, flip it over, get the fat running on that side, flip it over and keep doing it that way. I don't know the exact temperature of the coals, so I'm kind of judging it as we go along, which is why I want to keep flipping. It looks like about 10 minutes per side. So what's in here is a, about that much olive oil, about that much water, and an enormous quantity of, of salt, as much salt as I could get to dissolve in it. And that will dry onto the surface. It'll crisp up with salt. It'll have a little bit of steam. Oh, it's starting to make some good smells. More of the magic moisturizer. Oh man, look at that. We know that the safe temperature for fish is 60 degrees. That's giving me 57 right in the thickest part. So there will be parts of this, the thinner parts that will be overcooked, which is unfortunate, but the main part will be well, pretty much perfect. There he goes. That is just stunning. And then if you run your knife sideways, Lifting off the bone. Cut in there like that. If you listen to all the moisture in this, it's absolutely beautiful. And just absolutely emotion. <laughs> Incredibly sweet and creamy. 